created something like this. So um, they will just learn, you can print it out and I'll put it in a PDF format, print it out and um, you know, just, just do the coloring page. I'm just going to change it. Sorry, just um, coloring in. Oops, not doing a very good job here. Coloring in um, and and just make it fun. Something that they can relate to, something that you talk about it every day. Just make sure, don't make it really structured. Just print it out. Uh, talk about fish. So I've actually printed out couple of the fish and um, and for the older kids if they are interested they can just coloring the spelling if they can't identify the character it's fine just let them color make sure they learn how to color within the lines uh, one and um, and another thing I was just thinking about maybe is something um, like um, a, I don't even know how to, um, a, a, a coloring, um, n numbers, which is something like this that is really, really fun and children friendly and, um, learn the letter one and they can just simply just draw one, 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 and then just repeat the word one. Soon, you know, your older kids will identify this numeral as one and um, they can just say O and E1 so, so so just make sure we go with the um, guidelines of something that they can relate to it's easy, it's fun, it's interactive and if if you don't want to learn to spell, don't but if you really want to, just create something really fun okay, so just print out the PDF um, if you're interested to know how I created all this, just let me know and maybe I can do a video recording to show you how I actually create this. Okay, have fun. Bye. Hi guys, this is Lian Ng from My Long Table. I'm just going to do a, a Go Kids segment uh, f for today's blog post. Um, something that uh, is fun. Um, using something that the children can relate to is fun um, and basically what I'm going to do is uh, using a photo that I've taken um, during my holiday trip so if you can see this is a photo of one of these sal uh, I taken uh, I took during the salmon run and um, there was only one salmon that we could see so um, I thought something that um, we create for the kids, something that's fun, something that they can identify and it's something that they see every day. So I thought I'd use a fish. Um, for the younger kids, um, we, you know, they, they will learn about uh, the, the fish, which is um, the fish and... Um, we can always ask, where's the fish? And they will start to point, um, it's here, right? And we can just ask them, how many can you see? And they will just say one. So, uh, and they run. For the older kids, um, they will learn uh, the word fish and um, one and the numeral one. I was actually planning to do a coloring page, but this photo is actually not the best to 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 color to to turn into a coloring page. Um, but um, choose you know freehand drawing, which is um, something that we used to do when we were kids, which is you know with the eyes and then a fin. See? And they can do many types of fish, you know. So, use something, um, a photo, something that you've, you've 
took during a holiday trip, turn it into a communication piece. Talk about the fish. Talk about that experience, and then if you want to turn it into something a little bit more educational, but make it interactive. Just don't make it too structured. Just something totally fun, 